So although I'm from Chicago, I feel like I have Southern roots thanks to my grandmother's kitchen. And listen, whenever I get a chance to be creative with an ingredient, I go there. So I love collard greens like the next person, but I'm gonna show you today how to turn collard greens into a pesto that's gonna be fantastic with this pasta dish. Are you ready? I hope so. Let's go, all right? Let's start by making the pesto. Now, you can certainly use collard greens that have been braised and cooked down by all means, but if this is a random weeknight, you don't have four hours to make collard greens. So, I'm gonna take frozen collard greens and I'm gonna throw them right into this blender. All right, now along with the collard greens, I'm gonna throw in lots of garlic. I wanna make sure I season this really well with lots of salt and pepper. And then we need some olive oil to bring the whole thing together. All right, and then we'll give this a go. All right, look at this. Collard green pesto, vibrant, amazing, ready to go. All right, speaking of ready to go, let's work on this pasta. All right, so uh, water's boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt. You know, I have a couple golden rules, and the first one is you want to oversalt your water. The second is you want to undercook your pasta. Two golden rules, pretty simple, all right? Use a favorite pasta that you like. For me, it's going to be angel hair. So we'll throw some of that right in here and let it cook down. The pasta's cooked, we're gonna go ahead and give it a drain. All right, so got a skillet behind me getting nice and warm and I'm just gonna cut up some zucchini. That way we give the pasta dish a little bit of uh, body and you know, just more than just pasta sauce and shrimp, right? All right, let's add some butter to our skillet that's getting warm on us. olive oil. In go the zucchini. All right, zucchini's in, and so are the shrimp. We're gonna stir, and we're just gonna cook it until the shrimp are just cooked through. All right, so once the shrimp are almost cooked through, like these are, let's add some of the pesto right into the pan. Mm. That's gonna heat through, which is exactly what you want. And then we can go ahead and toss in some of the pasta. We'll give everything a toss. All right, we'll kill the heat. And then with any great pasta dish, you need a little Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to toss. All right, let me grab a bowl and a fork because um, you know what time it is, okay? Somebody's gotta do it when you get in here. Get some pasta. It's hot. I don't want to burn myself. Words. I have none. Okay. Oh, that's so good. The thing about it, I love is. Pasta is not overcooked at all. The pesto is light and it's like herbaceous from the Parmesan cheese. You gotta give it a try. Recipes like this, y'all know what they gonna be. DariusCooks.tv, as always, y'all. There's two things I wanna tell you guys I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Collard green pesto. Until next time, I gotta wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all.